Okay, so this is module one and two in class application one, and the question is, should I buy or lease a car? And so you're gonna be given some assumptions about each of these, and then you work backwards into which one is better. So we have a, um, we can lease the car for three years, or we can take out a three-year loan and then sell it. The car is worth 37,000 right now. We have a leasing arrangement for $2,400 down, 580 per month for the next three years, or we can pay it off in monthly payments with a 6% interest rate. I can sell the car for 22,000 in three years. Should I buy or lease the car? And then what's the break-even price? Okay, so what you would wanna do is start off with one of the options. And so what I'm gonna do is draw first leasing. So a couple things. Notice first that this is 36. Why is it 36 and not uh, some other number? Is because it's a three year loan and so the time is gonna equal three times 12, because all the payments will be on a monthly basis. The second thing is the interest rate that we're given is 0.06%, but that is a yearly interest rate and our payments are on a monthly basis. So we're gonna divide by 12 and get 0.005 as the interest rate. Okay, now if we're gonna lease the car, we're gonna spend $2,400 today And then we spend 580 a month. For the next three years. This is an annuity. We can use the annuity equation to discount this back. We're going to add this value to the $2,400 and that will give us the total cost of leasing this car. So we're just gonna do C over R times one minus one over one plus R to the T. And the payment is 580, the, which is C. R is gonna be 0 0.0005, which is a little hard to see. There it is, 0 0.005. Uh, there's no G. Notice the payments are all the same all the way across and T is gonna be 36. So just to let you know, we took our annual interest rate, we made it monthly. We took our three years and made it monthly. So we made sure that the units matched here. So once we do minus 580.005 minus 1.005 to the power of 36, this is going to equal minus 19065. That's the present value of the lease payments. When you add that up, you're going to get minus 21465, which is the <clears throat> present value of leasing the car. So this is what we want to pay attention to when we talk about owning the car. We're going to do the same thing, draw a timeline. 0, 36. We are going to spend 37,000 right now. Notice that notice that the payments don't matter here. Our interest rate is 0 0.005. We have a oops. Our interest rate is 0 0.005. We have a time period of um, 36 months, and this is the present value of the loan. So there's no discounting required for this. The payments are irrelevant because this is the value of the loan today. So the only thing that we have to account for in addition is that we're gonna get $22,000 in month 36. We have to discount this back to present day so that'll be 22,000 divided by 1.005 to the power of 36. And when we discount that back, we get 18,384. We subtract and we have minus 18,616. That is the present value of owning. So leasing cost us 
$21,000, owning cost us $18,000. So the answer to this question is that we should buy the car. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what's the resale break-even price that would make you indifferent between buying and leasing? So essentially what we are solving for is this number right here. So what number could we make this to where this and this were the same number? And to do that, we have a relatively simple equation, which is minus 21,465 equals minus 37,000 plus, I'm going to call this x, x divided by 1.005 to the 36. So what we're solving for is x. We want the break-even price. This is the present value of the loan, and this is how much leasing would cost. We solve for that. I'm going to let you do the algebra, and you end up with x equals 18,590. That is the price at which if we sold the car in month 36, we would be indifferent between buying and leasing.